used to say the beautiful ones are not yet born, Osita. But I see she's the dawn of beauty. Her beauty radiates like the early morning sun. Her beauty can quench, can soften the hardened part of a man's heart, Osita. I am very sure she was born on the day of the gods. She's exceptional. She's the only woman that meets my eyes. Well, um, you have praised her enough. And if I may ask, who is this maiden that has captivated your heart? And why did you call me out? Osito, there is no other maiden in this land that captures my heart, except Makasi. And I have called you here to let you know that I am going to marry Makasi. She is the only woman that captivates my heart. And she is going to be my wife. I am going to marry Makasi. Osito, may the gods of this land save you from me. You have incurred my wrath, and you will be consumed by me. I waited for you to come and call me, but all to no avail because I didn't see you. I plead your pardon, my friend, Ebili. We needed water urgently, so I thought I should rush down the stream at once. I'm sorry. You know, I forgive you. Pardon you. You must be correct. Because mother has me. We ran out of water while cooking. That makes the book of Let's go. I'm here now. Crazy. Oh, oh, <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Oh, a maiden with a brave heart. How are you? I'm doing well. How is your mother? She's fine. Come and sit. Okay. And Lolo, is Prince Oyema in his heart? Onyema, my son, went out early this morning. And since then, I haven't set my eyes on him. Okay, in that case, I'll patiently wait for him to return. Oh, your hair is fine. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> thank you.
Greetings, my friend. Greetings, beautiful maiden of this land. The gods of this land brings you my path. My dawn of beauty. The moment I saw you, the body in my heart lifted. What saddens the heart of a prince? You, Makasi. Me? You saddened the heart of a prince. What can a poor orphan like me must have possibly done to the prince of Buzo kingdom? Forgive me, my prince, if I have offended you in any ways without my knowledge. You have not offended me in any way, Makasi. You have done nothing wrong to me. Makasi, it's okay, it's okay. I love you very much. I love you from my heart. And I will love you to be my wife. No. No! I don't love you. I can't love you. No. Pardon my manners, my prince. I need to fetch what and leave. Thank you, Lolo. <laughs> and also thanks to the girls. Yeah. <laughs> Lolo, I love you because you're beautiful. Thank you. Greetings, mother. My son, where have you been? <sighs> My queen, I went out to feel the touch of nature and also look at the birds whisper songs to my ears. <sighs> Welcome, my prince. Hope you had a nice day. Maybe he is not in a good mood. My queen, I don't know why Prince William is acting like this. Don't worry, maybe he is not in a good mood. I'll talk to him, okay? It's okay, it's okay. Lola, please, I beg to take my leave. Okay, okay. Lola. It's okay, eh? You're back. We had some less time than I expected. Ma, what happened? You left to the stream lively. Are you trying wearing a long face? Tell me, why the sudden change of countenance? It's nothing to worry about. No, Makasi. Tell me, what stole the smile from your face? Tell me, what is it? Tell me, Makasi. Makasi, please, tell me. Is it not Prince Onyema? He won't let me be. He since he said the stop as he gets me time stop. 
Prince Oyema again. I so much detest him. It's time I walk up to him and tell him to stop disturbing you. No, 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 if you know. You will do no such thing. Oh. He is the prince and he will punish you. But I will handle it my own way. I will handle it. We need to hasten up and get food ready before Father returns. Light the fire while I get food. If you insist. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strongest maiden of her time. Hmm. Adam Marama. The only maiden that can withstand the man. Hmm. When a pot is seen vibrating on a fire, you do not need to be told that the water inside the pot is boiling. My father would say, Adugo, my friend, who has stepped on your toe? Talk to me, Adugo. What is wrong? Ada, wait. Adugo, talk to me now. Wait now. See, you must let the fire Talk to me now. If this is the reason why you called me out here, I beg. Is that what you have to say? This is the third time I have called you out here for you to reason with me. But it's obvious it's just a waste of my time. You dare not walk out of me when I'm talking to you. Permit myself. Onyema, it is better to let the sleeping lion lie when I dead. I can see you have guns. I will break your bone and feed your carcass to the lion in the evil forest. Age and size does not determine the strength of a man. Uh. Touch me one more time and I will sweep your foot off the ground. You have just incurred my wrath and I will devour you. You want to fight? Yes! You want to fight? Yes! yes. What? Stop that! Stop! God forbid both of you! I forbid you as well! What has come over both of you? Osta, you dare not fight your elder. Mother, if an elder refuses to behave like one, the little ones will teach him how to behave. Words of my father. May the gods blame you with me that your father will punish you if this repeats itself again. Apologies, mother. Okuya? Yes. As I've always said, the prince is not the only man in this kingdom. His heart is set off for other maidens. I will tell you what the mother will tell her daughter. Stop wasting your time over that prince. Forget about the prince and stop wasting your time. No, mother. Mother, I'm supposed to be royalty. Hmm. Mother, I love Prince Oyema. Lola loves me too and wants me to be Prince Oyema's wife. I will not give up until my dream is actualized. Okay? Ego, hmm? don't tell me you're my mother's son. No. How can I? Oh. I will always stand by you. What are friends for? Thank you. But the next time you will ignore me like that again, 
be ready to keep my list with me for two more days. I'm sorry now. Apologies are accepted. Look at you, I'm not sorry you. I know you are. Mama, <laughs> father uh, always says you look like a mother. Is that true? I wouldn't know if it's true. Of course you know the story that my parents died a long time ago. Father must have told you when you were much younger, before the death of your mother. Yes. Father told me you are an orphan. That he adopted you as his daughter when your parents died. So, as a young girl growing up, you don't know what, how your mother looks like. Your father and mother took me in. And here I am today. My mother was known for her beauty. But they say I am more beautiful. That is why your father, my father, also named me Makasi. A beautiful name for a beautiful maiden. <laughs> Stop flattering me, bitch. I'm not. You are. Oh. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to go see the love of my life. May I come with you? No. <laughs> I'd have loved it to come, but it would be absurd if father comes back and there's no one to serve him his food. Yes. You know father doesn't joke with his stomach. I know that. So, I'll be going alone. Okay. Send my regards to me. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> No, you don't have to fight your elder brother for my sake. My love, you did wrong by fighting him. Inasmuch as I have the breath of the gods in me, I will love no other man. He will definitely get fed up because he will never have me. Through love, Conquers all. Ma, every time I look into your eyes, I just want to dive into them. Swim through your soul and stay captivated in your heart forever. You are the light that brightens my world. Even in my next life, I will still choose you. I pray the gods grant our heart desires. You must be very tired and hungry. I had a hectic day at the farm today. I'm very, very tired and hungry. You have to eat and rest. I need food and a good pan wine to calm the body. Yes, sir. Your, your pan wine can is empty. Oh, do you wear as a, it never lacks a good pan wine, actually. What of my daughter and Makasi? She's with Prince Osita. Okay, that's good. Get me my food. I do go. I do go. No, no. You don't look happy. What is the problem this time around? Please, I need my. Are my son? Yes. You needed to say the brief things. I need my talk to me the last time I came to visit him. He made me feel like a nobody. He told me to my face that is in love with Makasi. My heart beats for you. But you don't have my time. Why? Adugo, I have told you times without number that I don't love you. And we never love you. My heart belongs to another. My heart belongs to Umakasu. Umakasu is the woman that I love. My heart craves and yearns for Umakasu. I will love no other person but Umakasu. She is the only woman I'm going to love. What does Umakasu have that I don't have? 
Am I not beautiful enough? I haven't seen you that beautiful. In fact, you are one of the most beautiful ladies in this world. Your beauty is like the element in the soul. You don't belong to me. You belong to another. My heart is taken by the markers. I'm sorry. My prince. I'm sorry. I tried making him to seriously with me. But he walked out of me. And do go. Don't cry, okay? Don't worry. Onema is my son. No? I will talk to him. Okay? Stop crying. Just rely on me. I am the mother. I will talk to him. I just pray. The gods grant me just this one wish. Don't worry. The gods of our land will do it for you. Okay? okay. Stop crying. Just be happy. Igwe. The pan wine last time was so nice. <laughs> you can say that again, Achaka, my best friend. If you want the best pan wine to drink, just come to the palace. Because Achala, the best pan wine tapa in Buzo Kingdom, always supplies me with fresh pan wine on a daily basis. Achala has no competitor as far as pan wine is concerned. Even our neighboring villagers always patronize him. And he is making a lot of money from this palm wine business. Exactly. But that is not the reason I called you here today. I called you here so we can discuss something very important. Something that has been bothering my mind for a very long time now. I think it is high time I share it with a man of wisdom like you. That is why I have invited you. What is it that bothers the heart of my ego? Our father says, a problem shared is a problem solved. You can always confide in me, ego. What is it that bothers you? Igwe, I have heard you. What have I not told them before? What else do you want me to tell them again? Listen, listen. I heard from a very reliable source that Osita was the first to fall in love with a said maiden. Why would Oyema still go for that same maiden? This is on end of it. doesn't happen anywhere. Talk to your sons. Talk to Oyema. Igwe. Igwe. How are you sure that Osta was the first person that fell in love with Magasi? Don't give me the impression that you are supporting Osta against William. Why would you say a thing like that? I just told you what I heard. The news is all over everywhere. All I want in this palace is peace and nothing more. Just talk to your children, talk to them. But eventually, they may understand you because you're the mother. Talk to them. I have heard you, Igwe. But be careful. Careful. That is my decision. What? And it is final. Is there no other way, Father? I have spoken. The choice is yours. Osita, do you have anything to say? Father, you have spoken. Like you said, the choice is ours to make. It is left for us to think we know what we want better. My husband, there must be other ways to resolve this. That is my decision, and it is final.
my son, you are not happy. Is it because of your father's decision? The gods of this land must be crazy for allowing my father to take such decisions. How could the gods of this land allow father to take such decisions? How, mother? Why? Listen, listen, my son. You must be wise in making decisions. You are the heir to the Ibuza kingdom. Nothing should jeopardize that. Not even love. Be as wise as servant. Mother, this is ridiculous. Mother, this is ridiculous. You better go talk to the king, my father. Ikeba! No! That maiden is so full of herself. I am going straight away to, to show her the stuff I'm made of. For daring my sister. <laughs> <laughs> This is not funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> that, because that maiden is a beast. Hey, you poor maiden. I want to know what gave you the gods to display what you just did last night at the maiden's rehearsal. And what will you do about it? You're asking me what I'll yes, do about it. I'm you want me. to really know what I'll do about it. Now watch and see what I am made up of. So tell me, are you still going to fight her? You know, yes. No, I mean until I see her. Father would say, silence is the best answer to give a fool. Mm. And silence does not make you a coward. Let's keep in dog life. If you insist. If not, I would have shown her that I'm the daughter of British. <laughs> I insist. Ah, go on. The lioness herself. Did they sleep? Whatever evil plans that are going on in that convoluted brain of yours, I put it to you that it will not work in my palace. How dare you desire the death of a fellow maiden? How dare you? Apologies, Igwe, but she stepped on my toes. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Now listen to me. Let this be the very last time I would ever get this kind of report about you. If it ever happens again, I swear by the gods of our land, I will ostracize you. Now get out of my present. Get out! Out! Ojuku, thank you for that timely intervention. You are in tears. Why? Losing you is the only thing that can bring tears to my eyes. Oh. I will never leave you. Even if the heavens open and the ground we walk on tears apart. 
It's not about you. It's about my father. Your father? Yes. My father said he will not allow any of us to marry you. Because you are an orphan. What? And if any of us goes against his will, that person will lose his inheritance. What? Ma. No. Ma. No. Ma. 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 I do go to you this time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm short of words. How come the Igwe made such a decision? It is all like him. <laughs> Father, talk to him. He is your friend. And you are your no. I'm sure he will listen to you. My hands are tied. The Igwe's word is final. Let's hope on the gods. Father, is that my faith, Father? Hoping on the gods? Waiting on the gods? No. Gods be praised for giving me a maiden like you. My you are the source of my joy. The source of my happiness. You are the reason for my existence. Living without you is like death. Not even the gold nor riches of this world can be compared to the love that I have for you. Oh. Are you sure? Yes! Very, very sure. See, I swear by the gods, not even the riches and wealth of my father is worth the love that I have for you. In that case, I will love you for the rest of my life. And I will love you back for the rest of my life. <laughs> As someone.
Greetings, Father. Greetings, my son. Father, I wish to have a word with you. Oh, oh yes. Let's sit down. Thank you. Ah. What is it that bothers you? Father, I have made up my mind to marry Makasi. Yes. And I plead with you to escort me as the tradition demands to ask for a hand in marriage. Did you just listen to yourself talk? Osita, you just spoke like a man without wisdom. Did you realize the consequences of this decision you're about to take? You are ready to let go of all your inheritance because of a commoner? Father, Marcus is not a common maiden. She is worth more than the riches and wealth of this world put together. All I ask of you is to accompany me as the tradition demands and give me your fatherly blessings. Very well then. Your destiny is in your hands. You have decided. Go and get ready. Tomorrow I shall accompany you to go and ask for a hand in marriage. Thank you, Father. May your days be long. It's quite obvious that Osita chose his inheritance over me. Of course, his inheritance is more important than I am. But the love we share. Had to take the bull by its horn. Come tomorrow, being a Kemake day, I shall come with my father, the king, to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> Did the king suddenly change his mind? No. I chose you over my inheritance. Remember when I always tell you that true love is bigger and mightier than the wealth and riches of this earth. Together, we shall do great things. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gods will favor us. They are the givers of wealth and riches. They will favor us. I'm happy for the both of you. Thank you, Kichi. <laughs> My prince. <laughs> Thank you, Kichi. Smile now. Oh, this is 
<laughs> so you don't know my age. How would I know my mother's oh, age? You are complaining first. No, no, this is very I will do it. Uh, no, your hand is hard. Your mother don't know. Greetings, mother. My face. You are welcome, my face. Mama, Where is your family? My father, the king, and my mother, the queen, they are very fine. May the gods be praised. He say, My prince, you're the last person I expect to come visit me. Or did you possibly miss your way? I do go. You have been favored by the gods of this land. Favored by the ghost of the I don't understand, my friend. I am here to ask for your hand in marriage. Oh, my God. I will be coming with my father, the king and my mother, to ask for your hand in marriage. Huh? Hey! Alban! Mama! <laughs> eh? Eh? At last! Yes. May the gods of our life yes. be praised. I'm so happy. And it has finally come. Thank you, the gods of our land. Hi. <gasps> wait. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Am I dreaming? Gods of our land. Hey. My prince. Hey. You made this. <gasps> Maudon. <laughs> hey. Jineke. You are fine, for right? You have been favored. Thank you for giving me an opportunity like that. I do go. Are you running to? To your house, of course. Are you serious? I'm, I'm actually on my way to your house. Ha, there's no need for that. Thanks to the girls I found you. I hope all is well. Nida, it's good news. Good news? Yes. Please tell me my ears are itching. Yes, no. Oh, Adugo, you know I'm not good at guessing. Just guess, now. guess anything. I can't, tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. There's no need to say it silently. I have to scream. Scream! <laughs> I just want to hear okay, the okay. news. The prince has finally accepted me to be his wife. Prince Oyema. Yes, Prince Oyema, of course. That's not possible. I don't understand. I mean, are you sure of what you're saying? Come on, let me joke with this like this. Are you serious? Yes, he just left my heart. I do I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Finally. Yes. Now, let me see. Mm -hmm. If any of those maidens mm -hmm. see you see in we tap greeting you, they're dead now. I do go. Adamarama. The next. I can say that again. <laughs> a wife of a prince. You can say that for that matter. Now, let me see what that so called Mark that thinks she's the most beautiful in this village. She has healed. <laughs> you know what? Let me press. Please. I have to go and see this thing. Please call with me. I know this is a handbook. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> can't wait. Let's go. Help my friend. <laughs> Son, father, to say the least, you have made me proud. I am so excited. In fact, you have proven beyond every reasonable doubt that you are a real man. I know that you need some rest after so much stress. Why don't you go in there and join your beautiful wife? Perform your duties as the real man that you are. <laughs> of course, I can't wait to hear the cry of my grandchild <laughs> in the palace. <laughs> the Igwe has spoken. Yes. Thank you, Father. Welcome. I, I, as a matter of fact, I would not have been able to do this alone. May your days be long. Yes, uh... I beg to take my leave now, Father. Son? Yes, Father. You can have your inheritance as well. In fact, it was a game I played to know who will quit between you and your brother fighting over the same maiden. And I thank the gods that the game worked. And all thanks go to Ichaka, who gave me the wonderful idea. <laughs> I am happy for both of you. Father, 
I'm speechless. Just Thank go, you so just, much, Father. Just go and join your beautiful wife. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> Prove to her again that you are a man. <laughs> you were... I'm so excited. Same here. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful idea. No problem, you were. Thank you. No problem. That is a visitor that visits a man without notification. <laughs> Iguaco, go well to the land of our ancestors. I see that cloud all over. Wise one, you speak the language of the gods. I can see no that cloud. You have eyes, but cannot see. Digwe did not die a natural death. Eh? <laughs> Calamity! Prepare for the funeral of the Igwe. No. Mm, I am afraid. What are you afraid of, Mazude? Were you not there at the palace when the princess told us about the unseen dark cloud? Once it surfaces, there's bound to be doom to the community. <clears throat> Mazude, I think we need to sleep over this and see what the next day will bring. If you say so.
has spoken. And that is what must be done before the calamity come to an end. Prince Onyema and Prince Osita, you heard what the priestess had just said. You must take action immediately. Um, take it easy. See, I think we should rest here a little while then continue our journey. I am not resting with you. This journey, all bound for himself. Okay? Remember what they told us?
Onye ma? What? The calabash. Hmm? Three calabashes? Yes. Hey! Hey, what? Onye ma? Onye ma, why did you do that? Why wouldn't I do that? I have always known you to be a smart one. That was why I allowed you to choose the right one. And now I have it. So what will you do about it? Onyema, let me have that calabash. I have what? Onyema, let me have that calabash. You think I will allow you to collect this for me? Mm. Onyema, let me have that calabash. You took your Makasi away from me. And now you want to take my bed right? You will not succeed. Onyema! Onyema! Here is the calabash. Where is Prince Osita, your brother? Osita is dead. Hey! Osita was killed by an animal. Mm -hmm. mm. He would have escaped just the way I did. But he decided to stay to fight the animal mm. so that he can become a hero. Hey. So mm. he was killed hey. by the animal. Hey. You lie. Hmm? You killed my husband. Onyema, you killed my husband. And I can't do him now. I want my husband. I want my husband. Watch your tongue, Makasi. How dare you accuse my son of killing his brother? We all had the story. My son just narrated before us. Enough! And let's proceed. Give me the calabash. Yes, great priestess. This is the calabash that contains the ashes of the gods. Wonderful. How come you are alive? The brother said that you are dead. He told the priest. That is because he tried to kill me. Hey! While he was running, he fell and broke his calabash. I was resting and then he hit me with a wood. Mm. I, I was unconscious on, until.
Please, Mary, don't do this to me. 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 Please, Mary, don't